So Cheerion Solar is based out of Catalina, Arizona. We are at the foothills of the Mount Lemmon. It's one of the landmarks of Tucson. So that's actually been really nice to see throughout this project. We have great scenery out here. Uh, it's a huge recreation area. So we have a lot of off-roaders that pass through, a lot of curious people stopping to say hello. This is our first self-perform project uh, of PV and BESS. So we were really excited to kind of take on this challenge. My team recognized that this was the first. We wanted to be a little different and it's been really interesting being the first ones doing it. We've had a lot of coordination with our engineers and with all of the other groups kind of bringing together what are best practices to move forward. We've learned a lot throughout this, for better or worse, we have learned a lot on our first self-performed job. So one of the cool things about the BESS in particular, especially since this is AC coupled and having such a small switch yard being a small little 10 megawatt site, is that we had the high voltage team engaged, but we utilized them to a larger capability. Instead of having a separate concrete subcontractor come out that the best side hires, we utilized our existing relationships through the high voltage team and really relied on them to help us build some of this underground activity. So the high voltage team has actually become integral to the best and I think they're kind of being combined to one to an extent of the construction side. And with that, we've learned concrete doesn't seem as critical for these mega packs. Uh, we're looking to in the future using piles. That was one of my biggest feedbacks is our bread and butter in the field is piles. So with that, they're taking those changes to make them more field friendly as well as user friendly for us, not just taking what the standard is for Tesla, but really making it unique to solve and what fits best for our culture and our resources on site. I think it's been obvious for a while now that the next big shift of renewable energy is battery storage capability. So it was exciting being able to do the first self-perform one and helping mold what it's going to look like for the future of our solve operations. Having that critical input on what works and what doesn't work for design, that's going to help streamline and make our own operations more efficient, which is exciting, as well as just all the opportunities that having a strong best team is going to provide for our industry and for our company specifically. Having just the best dedicated components, that's a whole new team, a whole new industry that we're getting ourselves into. And by being at the forefront and going through these learning curves, we're making ourselves the most efficient and we always wanna be the best in what we're at and this is what it's gonna take.